Greek. Because <laughs> you know what they said, the way they taught us in school, like, oh yeah, Columbus, like he, he saw, like, I guess he was like, he had an orange or something, like some sort of fruit that was round and that he noticed how like there was a fly or a moth that came around the edge and he like, oh, look, the earth's not flat. That's, that's his theory. And that's what he set out to prove. So why is it that we're taught that? And I'm sure that's not the only reason they, that they, he sailed to India, right? I think this is, a, I think this is an American problem, honestly, uh -huh. because uh, I mean, when we study Columbus, uh, I, nobody tells us in you know, school that he, didn't, he believed that the, the earth was round while everybody else was right. believing different. This is just not true. The, the, we knew that the earth was round. Right way before Columbus, way before. Yeah. Do you know when was, do you know when the first theory of the earth being round, when, when that was established? Well, for sure, Greeks yes. even measured with a certain precision the, the, the radius of the earth. Considering the, uh, the instruments they had at the time, they did a very pretty good guess. So they were already measuring the radius of the earth? In the, yeah, in the ancient Greek, yes. Really? How, how do you, can you like just kind of walk, like simply put, like how were they doing that? Like, um, I'm not sure, but I think they were measuring uh, the, the change of the shadow during the day. Mm, okay. um, I'm not sure how they did it, uh, but maybe, maybe that's what they were doing, like the change and maybe also measuring the horizons. I don't know. Right, right. Because if you know exactly or more or less, you know, your point to the horizon, you can triangulate and uh, understand kind of the... Uh, the, the, the radius of the earth. You know, the, the, they were already the, understanding the concept of a round earth. Yes, at least yeah, yeah. the theory. Of course. You know,